Welcome back everyone. Today on the BFF8 HP Pro Radio, we are going to update the firmware on it. I was not aware there was a firmware update with uh, some new features and getting rid of some bugs in the radio. And I want to thank TMK761 for pointing this out to me that there was a firmware update. So to do the firmware update, we're gonna to need to do several things. Uh, first of all, we need to make sure that we have the CPS software from BTEC uh, installed on our Windows machine. In this case, we're gonna use a Windows 11 um, computer. And I have, I showed you this, I think I showed you this in the last video, we have the new programming cable that will allow us to run um, the software on Windows 11. And we also need to make sure that we download the firmware image to upload to the radio. All of this will be done through the CPS software. So let's go ahead and get started. The Biofang Tech page, which is at https biofangtech.com. And the first thing we need to do is download the CPS software for this radio. And to do that, we go to support and we go to software. And we need to grab, if we scroll down, we're not going to use Chirp. We're going to do the CPS OEM programming software. And then we have to pick our radio, which is, let's look through here, right here, BF8, F8 HP Pro. So we click on that. And we open the file. And then we run setup. I've already set the program up on here, so I'm not going to run through it again. But just follow the prompts to load it on your computer. Their announcements, and they had an article with information about the uh, firmware update. And I didn't realize it was dated November 12th, so almost a month ago this came out. And it talks about some of the enhancements and um, updates that it did. And let's just go over a couple of them. Programming S1 or the SK1 key, uh, quick access to NOAA weather. I guess they weren't they weren't in um, the correct order, the station, so now they are. Scanning, indicator enhancement, improved text entry, accurate frequency, frequency mode display, correct, corrected CTCSS tone display, enhanced stopwatch mode, aircraft band frequency step correction. Um, I guess it was had the wrong default setting. Improved S meter functionality, um, refined scanning behavior, GPS altitude reporting fix, DTMX tone corrections, uh, NOAA weather channel order corrected, resolve continuous transmission issue, factory reset functionality, and power up information screen. Uh, that one would be. You can control how long the how long the display um, stays up on the splash screen. Okay, so now to the important things here. When you do this update, it's only for this particular radio. If you try to update this to other models, you can brick brick your radio. And let's see what else it tells you how to update it. And it says you can visit the official product page, which will tell you how to do it, which I've already printed. So we're going to go ahead 
and download the firmware update bundle. And then we'll go in here into the downloads. And this will be the image that we need. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that firmware file out here. And I've already printed the firmware update steps. We can open that. And we can take a look at it. So this just gives you the directions how to do it. And I'm not going to read through all these. I'll just walk you through it as we do it. So let's go ahead and close this page. Back here. And I'm probably going to put the file back in the download folder so it's easy to find when we go ahead and run the update. So let's go ahead and launch the BTEC CPS program here. We'll make it large. In the top menu, we're going to select Tools. And from the drop down menu, choose Radio Firmware Update. Just giving you a warning that it's intended for this particular radio. So we'll click Yes. And next, we're going to take the Pro programming cable and connect it to our radio. All right, once we have the cable connected, we need to put uh, the radio into boot loader. Yeah, boot loader mode. And what you do is you hold the two keys, the black one here and the orange one, turn the radio on. And you're not going to get anything on your screen, but you are going to get the, re, uh, the green light. That means it's in boot loader mode. All right. Now we're ready to upload the firmware image, and we have to find it, which is in our download folder. So we click on it. Um, I already know COM3 is the correct port. So we click the manual download button, and you can see it's downloading. If we look at our um, USB cable here, we can see it's downloading to the phone, and you can see the phone is flashing a green light, which means it is uploading. Once it is fully uploaded, the phone will turn back on. And uh, you're good to go. The firmware should be uh, updated on the radio. I think I called it a phone, meant to say radio. But regardless, we're good to go. All right, to check, to make sure that the firmware went through, which I know it did, but just to visually see, we can go to radio info, and we should see the new version, which is version 0.33. So we're good. We're good. So that's uh, the steps involved in, let's get out of here. So that's the steps involved in um, installing firmware updates on your BF FHHP Pro. Just be careful when you're doing a firmware update like you would on a computer. Make sure you don't turn off um, the radio or disconnect it from the computer or you risk, risk the chance of bricking your radio. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.